This is a recast of the 3300-word piece, Our Project, A Comprehensive Guide to Data Analysis, from GPT-5. Let's listen in. The article begins with a discussion about how R, the programming language, has carved a niche for itself in statistical programming and data analysis. It emphasizes how important R is in today's data-driven world and how it helps researchers, data analysts, and statisticians to gain data-based insights and convert those insights into high-quality graphics. The history of R dates back to the early 1990s at the University of Auckland when Ross Alka and Robert Gentleman decided to create a powerful but user-friendly software for statistical analysis. They were inspired by the S language developed in the 1970s at Bell Laboratories. Since then, R has established itself as a free and open alternative to the dominant commercial statistical packages. Indeed, Paul, the philosophy of openness and collaboration instilled in R from its inception fostered a global community of contributors who developed packages for various statistical procedures and graphical techniques. Moving along, the article gives us a brief overview of R's installation and configuration process along with its basic structure, such as its data types, variables, vectors, matrices, lists, and data frames. The article also covers some basic operations that can be executed in R, such as arithmetic operations, data manipulation, and simple functions, as well as advanced data manipulation techniques using packages like Plier and Titer. Let's not forget the power of visualization in R. It provides extensive graphic capabilities that allow statistical results to be visualized effectively. For more complex visualizations, users can utilize packages like Kaplot2 for creating highly customizable and aesthetically pleasing graphics. Now speaking of real-world applications, R is widely used across various industries. In finance, it's used for risk analysis and portfolio optimization. In biosciences, it aids in genome data analysis and epidemic modeling. In social sciences, it's applied for survey analysis and demographic research. The article goes on to talk about efficient project organization and collaboration which is vital for the success of our projects. Using version control systems like Git, structuring our projects into meaningful file and directory structures are some of the best practices mentioned. Lastly, the article highlights some challenges faced by R such as performance issues especially when dealing with very large data sets and its steep learning curve for beginners. However, it concludes optimistically regarding the future of R, citing continuous development of new packages and growing application in areas of data science, AI, and machine learning. The article is indeed an insightful piece that explores R extensively, from its inception to its current applications across varied domains. It also provides a wealth of resources for further learning, including books like R for Data Science, online courses on platforms like DataCamp and Coursera, as well as useful forms like Stack Overflow. It goes without saying that R is more than just a programming language or an analytics tool. It's an integral part of modern data analysis and an active example of the power of open source collaboration. The journey of R is far from over and we look forward to discussing more such interesting topics with you. That's it for today.